Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to make this really cute and really easy spring egg diorama. I used mostly items from Dollar Tree and the little bunny rabbit there. That came from Hobby Lobby. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, what you're going to need, one of these, these candle holders from Dollar Tree. Somebody had commented on one of my previous videos and said that they couldn't find these at their store. Um, my store carries them like sporadically. So whenever you see them, just grab a handful because I love using them. I love these. They're very sturdy, but I love them. Anyway, you're going to need one of these. You're also going to need this. It says egg container, egg container. I'm going to take them apart. As you can see, there's a metallic backing on this one and then this one is clear. I haven't really decided which one I wanna use. Th this part feels more sturdy. So I guess we're gonna go with this. Now what we're going to do is cut the tag off. I'm sorry. I try to have everything ready for my videos. But what I'm gonna do is, this isn't something that I'm planning on keeping forever. So I'm not gonna use any E6000, but I'm gonna be using hot glue to glue this together. Now, if you have cats, dogs, and feral children running around, or if this is something that you're gonna to wanna to keep around for a while, then I highly suggest that you use some E6000 on this. But for me in my house for today, I'm just gonna be using hot glue. And if you like my glue gun here, with this little fine point on it, then you can get that. I'll have a link down below in the description box, and I'll also pin a comment of where you can get this. Now I'm just going to hold this in place. You can see, I'm trying to hold this sideways so that you can see it. You see like the flat side on this candle holder. I'm just kind of bumping it up against the flat side there on this egg, okay? And I believe that is stuck down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside. It's 82 degrees today, y'all. It feels so good outside. But anyway, this color gloss gumdrop, you use whatever color you want. I like purple, so I'm gonna use this. But anyway, I got this spray paint at Lowe's, check Walmart, wherever you get your spray paint, grab whatever color you want, and then I'm gonna paint the entire thing and let it dry completely before we move on. All right, so this paint has pretty much dried, and now I'm just gonna use some ribbon. This ribbon came from Dollar Tree. I was trying to decide what color ribbon to use, and I think I'm just going to, um, leave it purple. So I've got my trusty hot glue gun here and I'm just going to glue this down on the back. Now let's let this set up for a minute. Please be careful pressing it down because it's hot. That looks okay. All right, let's bring it up and I'm just going to twist it around. Let's cut it right there. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm just going to put another blob of glue right there, bring it around town. Y'all like Spongebob? I love Spongebob. <laughs> we watch Spongebob every day in this house. He says, bring it around town. All right, so that just kind of gives it a little something, something to break up that, um, that empty space there. Will I put a bow on it? I don't know yet. Give me a minute. Anyway, this bunny here, this bunny came from Hobby Lobby, okay? I just happened to be in Hobby Lobby and I saw this and, and I grabbed it, but you use whatever kind of bunny that you want to use. This is, it's fairly heavy. It's plastic or something. I don't know. Oh no, that sounds very breakable. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to put some hot glue all over his little bunny bottom here. And then we're just going to wedge him inside of the egg. All right. Sorry, bunny. Just gonna set him down right there. And then you can kind of look at the bottom and make sure that, ooh, it's on me. Make sure there's no gap. I'm just gonna try to just press it down a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna hold this until this glue sets up, okay? And then we'll come back and I'm trying to decide what all else I wanna do to it. I haven't decided yet. I'll think about it and I'll be back. All right. I'm still trying to think of, do I want a bow or not? So while that is sitting there and that glue is really starting to hard up, hard up, harden up. I can't even speak. Anyway, I've got my ribbon. So I'm just going to hold it between two fingers like so. Let's just cut off a piece here. This will be our tail. Let's just leave it like that between my two fingers, bring it around and then under everything and push it all the way back. Okay. Now bring this up and we're going to bring it around and tuck it under where I'm showing you with my thumb, okay? Bring it over and tuck it under that loop. Tighten it down. 
and there's a perfect tiny little bow. So let me trim off the tails. So I'm just gonna put a little blob of hot glue there and just kind of put this dead in the center. Now I was thinking about putting some carrots in here with our bunny, but I, I don't want it to be like too Easter-y. Easter Is that a word? easter -y? I made it a word if it's not already a word. I don't want it to be too easter -y. I want it to be springy, <laughs> you know? I don't know bunnies eat year round, but um, <laughs> I don't think I want to put like carrots in here. Let me just trim this right there and we see. Yeah, I don't think I want to put carrots in this. I think I just wanted to kind of keep it with some flowers. Now the flowers that I have over here from Dollar Tree, let's see. Let's get my wire cutters. Ah, get my wire cutters. I don't think I'm gonna leave the wire on there. I think I may actually just pull the flowers off the wire. And I'm just gonna glue it down behind the bunny. I'm not gonna put any grass or anything. Like the, um, you know, like how you use Spanish moss and all of that. Let's see, there's some flowers missing off of that. So I think I'll just leave that alone. Because this is green, and then I don't I don't want to put any more green in there. And the flowers are green enough, you know? So I think what I'm going to do is, let's just trim down the ends of this a little bit. I'm just going to try to tuck it back in there just to see how that would look. And I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue on here, tuck it back down in there, and hope for the best that it sticks to the back of the bunny like I'm wanting it to. And I think it is. And I, it's difficult. It's a lot easier for me to do stuff like this when I'm holding it down in my lap so I can, you know, twist it and turn it and I can, you know, really see what I'm doing. But when I'm doing stuff for the camera, um, sometimes it's very difficult. It's very difficult to actually see what all is going on because I'm trying to hold it at an angle where y'all can see it. Okay, well, let's just tuck this down in there. You know what? I think that'll work just fine. That looks just fine. Okay, now for this one over here, I'm going to do the same thing and just tuck it down in here. All right, so all of that glue has set up, and now I've been sitting here playing with this, trying to decide what else it needs, because it needs something around the edge of this, this egg here. Um, just kind of bring it out, because it's like very monotone. I don't like that in certain projects. <laughs> so I have a pair of scissors that I, I promise you I know how to use scissors. Oh, for heaven's sake. There we go. I got it. So this is some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Let's lay this down gently. So like I said, if you're not gonna use um, E6000, this can pop off easily, okay? So let's just try to, okay, I'm gonna cut this about here and I'm not saying that I'm gonna keep this intact. I think what I wanna do is take it apart, let's see. And I just, I want to work with one of these strands, okay? So let's just pull it apart like so. And I'll just put these in a bag and set them in the drawer over here and use them for something else. It's got a piece of tape there. All right. So let's see, where do I want to start this? I guess I could start it at the bottom. Now this little ridge um, the little ridge right here around the egg where the lid snaps down on it, that will be a perfectly fine guideline. I'm just going to run my glue around that edge there, and I'm just going to work this small piece of rope all the way around. All right, this is much better. I'm very happy with this. It's still kind of wobbly and gives you the effect of rope, but it's not as, you know, bulky as if you would have kept the rope intact. Now, when you have your ends down here. Of course, you cut them at an angle so that they lay a little bit flatter. As you can see, you still have like a little bit of fuzzies here. You could just take a little bit of Mod Podge on your finger or Elmer's glue, whatever have you know you have, and just kind of brush on there just a little bit just to bring them all together and it'll look a lot more seamless than it does right now. But I am pretty happy with how this has turned out. So, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!